what is going on what's going on what's going on what's going on okay this reading is going to be for my gemini's okay gemini gemini you so fine oh my god gemini wait i said gemini some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini no this card just wanted to pop out so i think i'm gonna leave it out right there i'm gonna take this as the overall energy okay new beginnings though new beginnings okay it's 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 a new beginning all right this is a reading for my libras okay i did not mean to say gemini this is a reading for my Lib you know what if you haven't go checked out go check out look at me go check out that gemini reading because you were coming up in gemini reading a lot okay the, your energy is in there a lot all right so definitely go check that out my libras okay this gonna be for sun moon rise and venus north node libra okay do understand time is fluid energy is fluid Flip the rose as needed and if you haven't already like and subscribe thank you very much all right this could be a monthly reading okay the month of june for my libras wow all these reversals what's going on it's a new beginning here that's the overall energy the page of wands she really wanted to pop out temperance could be dealing with a sagittarius could be dealing with a cancer could be dealing with a Capricorn. And this is your third major arcana. So it is about having blessings coming your way. Okay, things coming towards you. They're usually good things. Definitely with the Page of Wands is good news. You've been impatient. I understand. But it's coming to you. Okay. I feel like with the, the Corona Cups is the King Cups. Okay. When you got the, this is for the, the first week of June, second week, third week, four, fourth week. Okay. But I still read them together to understand the whole month. It's the, with the Corona Cups. The Corona Cups here being in reverse right now, it's really giving me like, you haven't been putting enough love. You haven't been giving yourself enough love. Okay. It's really about pouring out. I don't know. It's give it, it's the energy that I'm feeling right now. Okay, look. This is for your first week. Look what's popping out. This one's to pop out too, so I keep it. Temperance. Again, heavy Sagittarius. And it's in reverse. With the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys aren't really learning your, your lessons. You got the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Emperor. How many people is here with the Ten of Swords? Okay, what's going on? I feel like some of you guys are going to be having a lot of things coming your way. A lot of people coming your way. Or just you could be dealing with a lot of people for this first week. And you really don't want to. You don't really want to. Okay, I get it. Some of you guys have a habit of doing so much at once that you're killing yourself. And right now in the first week, you need to really slow down and have better control over this situation. Do you understand? You really focus on your business. That's the thing. You really focus on trying to make sure everything is the way that they need to be. But you really need to center yourself. Like that's why the, the King of Cups came out and went, the energy I was feeling. Like not really loving yourself. You have to take care of yourself. If you have Gemini on your birth chart, go check that out. Because I was talking about self-care. You understand? You really have to take care of yourself. You're doing so much, okay? You're doing so much. You're doing so much. I feel like it's create, creating burnout. Because even right now, I feel like my back, I don't know why. It's like really heavy and hot. Do you understand? It's heavy and hot. That's a heavy and hot. Some of you guys could be having like two to three people coming towards you. And you just dealing with you know they all i feel like they all heavy and hot only one is the emperor okay he could be a business owner one is the king he's very loving okay he know how to give love and one he's just a knight okay probably just want to ask you on a date nothing more not not too much you know you could have just probably left someone behind you understand with the knight of pentacles could be a Taurus book or capricorn something like that all right second week king of swords What am I saying? 
you feel like if you focus on yourself right now, you're going to be losing out on money. So you're trying to decide, look, with the queen of pentacles at the bottom okay you 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 you're being very selfish i feel like to yourself or maybe it's someone is someone around you you can be very selfish too maybe you 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 cutting someone off okay or you could be like pretending you cutting someone off or you always go back and forth between cutting someone off and then starting something back up like i don't know it's like some sort of selfish energy here you don't really know if you want to invest in a situation, okay? You're, it's like you're, because this King of Swords in this deck, his sword is down, okay? So maybe it's like, maybe you don't know if you want to go back to something right here. So it's, it could be like distance and not in some sort of communication. You're not really wanting to go back. You don't want, you don't, yeah. You feel like it wasn't real love there. It's something like that. And for others of you, you could be like going back and forth between cutting someone off and not wanting to. It's something like that. Oh, it could even be like some sort of business partnership here, okay? You feel like it's in this two of pentacles. Is, is, it gives me infinity signs. So it is like a back and forth, like never ending, okay? Never ending. Never ending obstacles. You could be feeling like. But listen, look. That's why you have the page of wands there. Oh my God. I could you not? Look. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The first card that fell out was the Five of Pentacles and then Six of Pentacles. Let me tell you why the Five of Pentacles is there. And and this is right up under the moon. So it could be involving your emotions or it could be something that you have to keep a secret. Okay. You have a new beginning here. It could be like a new job opportunity. And you coming up out of this Five of Pentacles and going into this Six of Pentacles where you feel like the love would think, like you're able to give to yourself more. You know, because in normal um, decks, the Six of Pentacles has flowers in the cups, right? So you know what they do? You give people flowers. You could have been giving away a, before. This is a previous energy. You could, when you had money, you had things, you used to give it away. And it used to leave you in life. But it, it, fulfilled, it fulfilled you to know that you did for other people here. But right now... It's time for, and now you're feeling bad because now you don't, you're, you're not ready to give. You don't want to give to, you, you, you shouldn't either. You shouldn't give away what you have here, some sort of money. Some, it's a new opportunity. It could be someone that's giving, giving you something to help you come out this energy. Okay. But it's really, look, Queen of Wands. Yeah. And she has a little sunflower there on her arm. So it's really like, let me show you a little sunflower. But it's really like um, something is going to bring you some, some sort of happiness, okay? It's, it's definitely bringing you some sort of happiness. Look, she has a little feather pen or something. Let me look at this card real up close. Because every time I look at these cards, something new comes out. Look, we got girls rule, fears. Yeah, and she has a little born average... <laughs> This is giving me Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you guys can see, but like her earrings is like the bow and arrow. Okay. She got a feather. These are good news. Good luck. Okay. Girls rule. Fears. It could be a female could be coming. Okay. Or just a feminine energy could definitely be coming to help you out. So it could be your mom. Okay. Because the moon is the mother. Wow. What just fell out? With the world card. This is for the last week. Okay, you got the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords in reverse. Wow, and the Death card. I promise you, the Page of Swords and the Death card. And you ha earlier, you have the Ten of Swords that came out. Those came out Gemini reading. Go check out Gemini reading. Okay, Scorpio energy here. There is something, there is something that needs to end, okay? There is something that needs to end with the Death card. It, 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 I would say Rebirth. But no, it is something, okay? It is something that needs to end, okay? Needs to be very careful. Like, if this new opportunity is coming to you, there is something that needs to end, okay? Maybe something could be ending in the last week of June. There is an ending here. Look, this is air energy, fire energy. It breeds more fire. 
Do you understand? There's it's something that I feel like you don't want to give up. You holding on really tightly to with the world card that you just don't want something to end, but it's not helping you. So in the last week, you ha you do have a choice. Look, judgment. You have to make a decision. Judgment. If you want this to end for the betterment or you want to continue with something here that is hindering you, is hurting you. This just fell out. It's judgment in reverse. So it's the, the need to make a choice. It's the need to make a choice. You have to decide to end something here because you need this energy. Okay, the page of wands. Maybe some of you guys are not like... I feel like some of you guys is really taking baby steps, okay? And look, she got the little magnifying glass starting a fire on that little tree. What am I saying? I'm saying the same thing. You're gonna, you, you, all right. It's immaturity here. I don't know if this is you or the person around you, okay? It's a lot of immaturity. It's a lot. Put yourself where you see fit. Let's see what's going on with your money right now. What am I saying? It's a new beginning. This is, is, is some money situation is being healed, right? But still, there is caution here. I will tell you why. You got the strength card with the Ace of Pentacles. Good. It's a great job. It's good. Money is good. Money, yo, I'm telling you. It's good. Strong. Hold on to your money, though. Because, look, spitting fire out his mouth. Not holding on. Things can blow up. Things can get out of hand. Do you understand? It's something with money here. And it's about knowing how to really handle your money. Preserve your money. You know, put your money to what you need to put it to and not what you want to put it to. But not what you want to put it to. Look, you got another four. Look. And the moon card again, I'm telling you. Something is coming together. Something is healing. It's. I feel like it's a job for some of you guys. You got... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Leo energy twice. Some of you guys have Leo on your birth chart. Maybe you got Cancer in your birth chart. Maybe even Sagittarius. Could have Taurus in your birth chart. Like, come on. Okay. I said go check out that Gemini reading. The answers you need are coming. Full Moon and Gemini. You might just be getting some um, answers with whatever it is that's on your mind here. Go check out the Gemini reading. It might help someone here. You have your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. So yeah. Nothing will come of this situation. And at the bottom work through your fears okay so i do feel like it could be with the nothing will come in this situation um it's something that's very unchangeable okay um i feel like what what you do need to do is have patience okay nothing will come in this situation just have patience just keep working keep going through keep doing whatever you have to do because i feel like right now worrying work through your fears i don't know i'm just getting like a worthy energy um look we got drink tea 21 21 12 could be significant but it's, it turns out to a three drink tea don't worry about it be calm everything is coming your way do you understand number three is the, the third sign is also gemini the answers you need are coming i'm telling you that worry and energy look number 36 36 63 could be significant nine could be significant okay we have movement i feel like definitely keep yourself situated and i feel like this goes right here with your hard work is paying off maybe some of you guys have like some type some sort of fitness goals that's going on right now yeah i feel some fitness goals but i'm saying build strength this is the leo energy but it's really a six so it's gemini energy again number six is a lover's card okay or even you could be dealing with the virgo here okay yeah, with that number nine there, yeah, number six, is is you could be dealing with the possible Virgo here, but it's build strength, okay? You were I see someone definitely working out. Oh, I see why number thirty nine, thirty nine, ninety three could be significant. Plan a vacation, which breaks down to number twelve, still breaks down to number three. Again, some of you guys could are going on vacation here. 
you guys are going on vacation you are you are thinking about traveling i feel like right now you're really focusing on your health i'm telling you go watch the gemini reading i cannot stress it enough libra i cannot stress it enough i cannot stress how much i think i need you guys to go check out that gemini reading wow all right let's get these gemstones and we'll close this out We have Lava Stone, Balance, Calmness, and Strength. Another strength card. Okay, really holding back, pulling yourself together, having courage and confidence to go after whatever it is you want to go and have resilience to pull yourself back from things that are very tempt, you know, that tempts you. We have Tiger Eye, building courage and attracting wealth. What am I saying? It's everything that I've been saying in this whole reading. Everything I've been saying in this whole reading. All these flew out over here. Okay, we have Sardinix, happiness, stability to marriage and partnerships. Okay, Angel Aura, happiness, beauty, and joy. What am I saying? Wealth, success, and wisdom. What am I saying? Your guys' intuition could definitely be growing right now. Okay, maybe some of you guys have like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your birth chart. Maybe some of you guys have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your third house. And maybe in your 12th house, okay? Now we have Antigua, right? Flow, intuition, wait. Flow, intuition, and bloom. All right, I promise you guys, as I was speaking, I was looking up, speaking what I feel and what I hear. And I turned down. I'm getting ready to read y'all what's at the bottom, right? But I don't, re I, sometimes I don't remember these stones by, you know, exactly the words that are underneath it. I don't. And it said flow, intuition, and bloom. I'm telling you, I just said that your intuition is growing. I can, I can, I cannot make this up. And, all right, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I kind of been scared myself lately because like everything has been like boo, boo, boo. Everything I'm saying, they coming out again. Like boo, boo, boo. Wow. I love it though. All right, my Libras, thank you for being here with your girl Mucho. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Do not forget to check out that Gemini reading. All right? All right. Love you so much. Mucho much. Mwah.